prima donna girl, yeah. All I ever wanted was the world. I can't help that I need it all. The prima donna life, the rise and fall. You say that I'm kind of difficult, but it's always someone else's fault. Got you wrapped around my finger, babe. You can count on me. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today I'm gonna to be showing you this Valentine's Day look. I'm doing a Valentine's Day series on my channel. So this is the first look that I'm gonna post, which is the lovesick look. And it's just a lot of glitter and a lot of pink. So if you wanna know how I got this look, just keep watching. Starting off, I'm just gonna fill in my brows with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Here I'm just using the Anastasia Pro Pencil to clean up the edges of my eyebrows. I'm using the Urban Decay Eden Primer to prime my eyelids. To set that, I'm going to use Tempera from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. For the transition shade, I'm going to be using Sephora's Glitter Eyeshadow in Love Song. Now I'm going to use NYX's Electro Blush to create some depth in my crease. I'm going to keep switching between those two colors. For the center of the eyelid, I'm going to use NYX's Baked Blush in Foreplay. And I'm just going to go back in with that Sephora Love Song shade and blend everything out. For the glitter adhesive, I'm using NYX's Glitter Primer. I'm just using this white iridescent glitter from Michaels. I'm using the NYX Vivid Brights Vivid Petal Liner to create a wing. Make sure you don't apply too many layers of this eyeliner or it'll start to crack like mine did. Next, I'm using the Physician's Formula Brush Tip Liner to line my lash line so that my lashes will blend in later on. Here, I'm just curling my lashes and applying mascara. The lashes I'm using are the Ilure Luxe Opulent Lashes. Next, I'm just going to use the Bioderma Micellar Water to clean up the eyeshadow, eyeliner, and any fallout. I'm using the NARS Copacabana Illuminator underneath my foundation to give it a more glowy effect. Here I'm just starting on some of the Total Cover Foundation from L'Oreal and mixing it with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I'm going to blend that all out with my Beauty Blender. Now I'm going to conceal and highlight with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm going to bake in the areas I concealed with the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm going to lightly contour with the Kevin Kwan Sculpting Powder. For blush, I'm going to use three different products, the Sephora Eyeshadow in Love Song, the Milani Powder Blush in Romantic Rose, and the NYX Baked Blush in Foreplay. I'm 
I'm gonna apply the blush on my cheekbones to the center of my cheeks and then I'm also gonna dust some on the tip of my nose. Going back to the eyes, I'm gonna apply some of that Love Song shade on my bottom lash line. I'm using NYX's Peekaboo Neutral to line my bottom waterline. And now I'm just gonna go back in with the glitter primer and apply it on the center of my bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna apply that same glitter where I put the glitter primer. I forgot to moisturize my lips, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna go back to the eyes and I'm gonna apply mascara to the bottom lash line. For highlighter, I'm gonna be using a mixture of hard candy and crushed pearl from the Anastasia Gleam Kit. For my nose highlight, I'm gonna use Starburst and Crushed Pearl, and then for the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna use Hard Candy. And I'm also gonna apply a little bit of Hard Candy on the tip of my nose. I'm gonna spray my brush with the Smashbox Primer Water, and then I'm gonna go back in and highlight my entire face again. And then I'm gonna highlight my Cupid's bow with Hard Candy. For lip liner, I'm using NYX's Peekaboo Neutral. For lipstick, I'm using Sephora's Cream Lip Stain in Pink Souffle. Here I'm just gonna apply a little bit of hard candy to the center of my lips to make them pop a little bit more. I'm just lightening the lips a little bit with the Anastasia Pro Pencil. Now I'm setting my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. I'm not